Okay, so things have been getting a little bit crazy. The stock market is down, the gas prices are down. I actually just filled up my truck for $69. My Silverado usually costs about 110 Canadian dollars, that is. There's a huge shortage of toilet paper. Luckily, my wife, every time toilet paper is on sale, buys a buttload of it, and uh, we're good on that situation. But uh, yeah, my daughter's off school for the next three weeks at least, possibly longer. And I got a feeling I'm gonna have a lot of spare time on my hands and kind of my little outlet, my thing to do to keep myself busy, to keep myself occupied is to grab the camera and I'm gonna just sort of film the next few weeks and uh, share it with you guys. So we're gonna do it together. A lot of people are panicking right now and of all times, this is the time not to panic. So hopefully everybody stays safe out there through this, but yeah, let's uh, get through this together. Out for a little drive this morning and starting to see a whole lot more signs like this. The services are cancelled at this church here in my neighborhood. I'm not sure when this video is going to be posted, but uh, today is the 16th of March. Okay, so quick pit stop at the grocery store. I'm pretty sure this particular one's quite picked over, but my wife and I usually keep a really good supply of groceries in the house. We usually have quite a few weeks worth of groceries at any given time, and we do right now. And I know they're saying to have two to three weeks worth of groceries, but uh, I think we're good there. But there is a couple of items that we need to pick up and uh, let's go see what they got. Meats are pretty picked over. Bread, pretty picked over. Just not a lot of people are eating whole wheat. Hand sanitizer section. And the toilet paper aisle. All right, so made it out safe and sound. It was actually quite orderly there today. We were at the very same grocery store on the weekend and it was a different vibe altogether, a much more panicked crowd. And that's actually one of the big reasons or one of the big concerns I have with this whole thing is how people are reacting. They're panicking and I just don't trust people that are panicking. They all make bad judgment calls, bad decisions. So that's one kind of worry for me. I'm not so, so worried about the virus itself, but just the reaction that people are having right now is a little bit worrisome. Another worry actually for me is my in-laws. And that's the reason I was at the grocery store today. They sent me out to pick up a few things for them, but they are in their eighties. They stay with us during the winter months and have a cottage in the summer. So we have to be extra careful in terms of bringing something home to them. Even just the regular flu or colds, we try to avoid them as much as possible. So that that's a second concern that I have, but the grocery shop was a success they had everything that I needed there and everything that was on the list so happy to uh, get out of there with uh, the required goods and uh, get back home that is why today Ontario has declared a state of emergency okay so this morning the province of Ontario where I live has declared a state of emergency I don't know all the details yet. I do know that any gathering over 50 people is prohibited. Restaurants are closed, although the restaurants that offer drive through or takeout services are open at the moment. I realized last night, the one thing that I am missing, I uh, really like to barbecue, so I'm gonna go out and get a couple of these tanks filled today. We're completely dry on the propane situation right now, so hopefully that isn't uh, something that's been hoarded by people too, but I'm gonna go find out. Oh, and uh, happy St. Patty's Day. Okay, so first stop, no go, no propane. Okay, so these guys had propane. We are all set for barbecue. All right, so decided to come down by the lake and go for a little stroll. This is Lake Ontario in the background. 
I just wanted to talk a little bit about escaping it all, uh, kind of getting away from it all. And I think it's important in uh, times like this and in life in general. I have a couple of escapes in my life. One of them is YouTube, making YouTube videos. The second is wristwatches. I'm wearing the Timex Black Max today. And it might seem a little insensitive talking about material things like that right now. But I think it's important that you have these escapes. I have a watch that came in about a week and a half ago. I planned to do an unboxing and then a travel vlog. We were going to go to Panama for a week. We were supposed to leave on Friday. The trip has been postponed. I had another trip to San Antonio for April booked, uh, Texas. That's also been postponed, so I'm not sure when these are going to happen. But what I'm going to do is give you guys an escape from this vlog and we'll do a quick unboxing of the watch. Okay, so we are back. I ended up doing a little photo shoot of the Timex while I was down by the lake. I'll throw a picture of that up here right now, but in my last video, I mentioned that I was kind of on a bit of a G-Shock binge, and it is a G-Shock that we're going to be looking at here today. Let me just move this away. Now, I've owned a bunch of G-Shocks over the last few years, but at the moment I'm down to two. This will be actually bringing me back up to three. I have the uh, 5610 here. I just recently picked up this guy. I'm actually going to be doing a review on this watch, and I also have some parts inbound. I'm going to be doing a mod for this watch that I think is going to be really cool. So that's something to look out for. Let me get into the box here. And here it is. Reference number on this is, I'm just looking at the box here, DW5600MW7CR. I, a friend of mine actually has been posting uh, this watch on Instagram and I've really been liking it and I thought what a perfect watch to be wearing on the beach. <laughs> That's not going to be happening obviously right now but hopefully if things clear up maybe towards the summer this will be a great little summer watch. I'll just show you guys beside my uh, 5610. Actually get in a little bit closer here. Okay, so no solar or multi-band six on this one, but uh, just a fun watch. And uh, my wife actually has been eyeballing this one after I ordered it. She saw a picture and I think she may uh, be digging what this one out of the watch box. But I just wanted to do just a really quick look, sort of check in with you guys today. I'll show you a look on wrist. We'll follow this up with a full video at some point in time, but I'll give you a quick wrist shot here. All right, so there it is. And I got to say, I'm really liking this white monochrome design. I think it's going to be kind of fun having the contrasting black and white squares in the watch box to choose from. Although I do believe my wife will be confiscating this one from time to time. This definitely would have made for a perfect travel watch. And I really wish I was doing this video from Panama. Someday I will take this watch on a trip, but just not today. So that's going to be it, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by. Look out for more vlogs coming up in the weeks to come, as well as lots of watch content. I really appreciate you stopping by. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.